So I saw one of the craziest things I've ever seen in my life. It was just a normal Thursday, and I was on my way to get some shoes until I saw from the corner of my eye. What the hell? This guy was in the middle of the street, barefoot, wearing no shoes, no socks, nothing. I've never seen anything like this. This was the first time I've seen somebody out in public barefoot. So obviously, I had to ask. Yo, excuse me. Yo, what the? Yeah. Bro, what, what are you doing? Why are you barefoot in the middle of the street? What the fuck? It's earthing, bro. Yeah. It was a little awkward, but I've never heard of earthing in my life. So I went home and I Googled it and apparently it's a real thing. People go earthing all the time. It's where they walk around barefoot to reconnect themselves to the earth. And there's even a lady that's been barefoot for 12 years. Imagine not wearing shoes or socks for 12 years. How fucked up are her feet? As common as it is, I've never really noticed anyone walking around barefoot. I've always thought of feet as a little disgusting, unless like you have a foot fetish or something, which I'm totally not into. <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, today marks the first day of me going barefoot. First off, it'd be way too easy just for me to be barefoot for seven days. I mean, I don't really do much. So I organized different challenges that I could do every single day barefoot so I could truly test this earthing theory. Starting with hiking. King of the world. King of the... I'm king of the world. It's day one, being barefoot for seven days. Today's challenge is we're gonna go hiking and I think I'm gonna do at least five kilometers. As you can see, I am barefoot right now. I got them dogs out, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got them dogs out. Oh, barefoot, yeah, <laughs> just trying it out. <laughs> okay, he said good idea. I don't know if he was trolling me or not. So far, so good. It does hurt a little bit, but my feet are kind of like, getting used to the floor and its texture. You know, I have this fear of what if I'm just like walking and I squish like a snail or a worm and then some of it gets put inside of my foot. Like what if my foot absorbs that worm? You know what I mean? Inside my flesh. And then after that, what if I turn into a worm man because I have worm DNA inside of me? Is that even possible? Because I gotta tell you, Lord, help me, please. You know, if I was wearing my shoes, I probably would have slipped by now because of how muddy the ground is, but I'm digging into the, the ground with my toes right now. I feel connected to the world. Like I can do anything. <sighs> Front flip attempt number one. Front flip attempt number two. Oh, I did it. I did it. I told you I could do anything. I did it. Oh, I think I messed up my back. Oh, fuck. Now, I'm not usually a hiker. I don't think I've ever gone hiking before, but I thought it'd be a pretty cool challenge to do barefoot. And let's just say it was, it was pretty, it was pretty hard. <laughs> Unfortunately, my feet couldn't take anymore, so I stopped around two kilometers, but that concludes day one, I guess. Next up, I had to run 10 kilometers barefoot. And yeah, it was, it was pretty interesting. Ow! Oh, see, I just stepped on a fucking rock there. I just stepped on a fucking rock. The bottom of my feet are fucked. People are looking at me like I'm a psychopath. Ah! Ah! Oh man, this hurts. This actually hurts. The good thing about this is, I feel a lot looser. My, I feel less restricted. I feel like I'm less trapped. Six more kilometers. But here's the problem. I messed up and I went down a running route that has no sidewalk. It's just pure gravel. I'm okay with running on gravel, but I'm pretty sure this is where people throw their used up heroin needles and fucking broken glass. So this is gonna be interesting. There is no sidewalk. I have to. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, 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 fuck. Oh, oh my gosh, Johnny boy. Ah, I got about two kilometers left. And luckily this road is exactly two kilometers. Ah, oh. All right, 
10K done, that gravel road was fucked. But now, it's weird, it's like I built a resistance. Right now, I'm actually walking on gravel. And to be honest, it's not even that bad. It's like I built a resistance. Here's proof that I actually did 10K. 10K run took me a long time, but next, we gotta, we gotta try to go shopping in public with people around me, barefoot. Yeah. <sighs> okay, we're about to go in. I'm a little scared to be honest. I think they're gonna kick me out. You know the places that say no shoes, no service? I think they're gonna do that here. Can't go in there without shoes. Sorry? Can't go in there without shoes. Why not? It's against the law. It has been for a long time. To walk around barefoot? Inside the store, yeah. I don't think that's a law. Okay, you can find out then. Okay. This dude already tried to tell me it's against the law. What law, dude? What law is it? that I can't walk around barefoot. If anything, I'm helping them because I'm not tracking in dirt with my shoes in here. So I don't know what they're talking about, but I will not be limited to shopping and doing my groceries just because I don't have shoes. Have you ever tried these before? No. No? I'm not gonna take these, so I'm not sure oh, okay. what they do. I was gonna say which is the best flavor, but Probably orange? Yeah, probably. I'm I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll trust you. I'll do orange and raspberry. Thank you. Okay, now I'm gonna see if they're gonna let me pay. Do you know if it's uh, if it's illegal to be to be barefoot? No. It's not illegal. Okay. It's legal, right? Yeah. It's your feet and it's your it's, choice. It's my feet, my choice. Exactly. Yeah. Your body, your choice. The guy told me that it's illegal. Yeah, I'm barefoot right now. I got no feet. So you should give him a shit. No, I won't give him shit. No. He's, a, he's okay. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. Okay, shopping wasn't that bad. I probably, you know what? I, maybe I should have asked for that girl's number. Should, I should have been like, hey, may, if you're bad at baking, I can bake you. A, we can bake a. We can bake a cake cake together. No. The more I was barefoot, the more I realized no one really cared. No one gave a shit. Everyone was just so into their own lives that no one even batted an eye. I mean, yeah, people looked at me and took pictures here and there, but I even took the public subway and no one really said anything. Like I said, no one really cared. Day five, I decided to go to the gym. This one was gonna be hard because obviously for safety reasons, you're not allowed to be in the gym without shoes, but I thought I'd give it a try anyway. So that girl right there videotaped me and I guess she's sending it to her friends. She, she zoomed in on my feet. That's hilarious, dude. See, that's the good thing about gyms. No one really cares about what other people are doing. They're just focused on themselves and their workout. She thought I was smiling at, at her. No, no. <laughs> oh, this is awkward. In all honesty, working out barefoot was actually really comfortable. I got no cramps in my feet. It felt like my feet could actually breathe. I mean, I was worried about dropping a weight on my foot, but other than that, it was actually really enjoyable. So it was day six, and honestly, I was kind of getting used to being barefoot. I actually enjoyed it a little. I mean, I didn't have to wear socks. I didn't have to wash my socks. It was pretty convenient. Now, I don't know about this whole earthing theory where being barefoot makes you feel closer to the earth or more connected to the earth. But like I said, it was more convenient than anything. But now it's day seven, and it's time for the coal walk. My name's Peter, and welcome to Jackass. Ah! 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 Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> 